Hey guys, what's up? Today I auditioned about nine CDs for Radio Humber to see uh, if any of them would be good to go on air. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about my favorite three from the group. Uh, just, you know, what I thought of them. Uh, maybe compare them to a couple other bands that are uh, that you might be a little more familiar with. Um, and just kind of give a general sense of what they're about. So uh, I'm going to start with the first one. Uh, this was the first one that I listened to out of the nine CDs. Uh, it's a band called Velvet Vice, and this is their uh, their EP, Urban Instinct. It's got five songs on it. Um, and the first thing I notice about this band is they sound a lot like the Chili Peppers, uh, if like Alanis Morissette sang for the Chili Peppers. Um, and it's a really cool sound. Uh, it's a little unpolished. Uh, you know, it sounds really good. It just feels like something's missing. I'm not quite sure what it is, but, uh, if they could just find that one, like, magical ingredient, uh, I think they could be, like, pretty serious. Um, I really enjoyed the album. My favorite track on it, I think, uh, it's, it's a toss-up between track three, One Ill Heart, and track five, Wasting Dawns. Uh, both of them were really good. They kind of moved. They had a progression. Uh, if I had any complaints about them, there's like maybe one verse too many in both of them. But overall, I think it was a super solid, you know, album. And they just got to find that next step uh, to just become like that much better. Uh, the second album that I think is worth noting out of the nine is is this album. It's called Blue Ceilings by the Franklin Electric. Um, now, what I thought about this band was uh, they just had, they have this sort of, the sound feels full. Like it feels like there's always motion going on and it always feels like the song is going somewhere. It doesn't really feel like there's any ex extra stuff uh, or that any of it's wasted. And it's this really sort of, melancholy sound like it's not like super depressing but it's kind of like a slower tempo uh love song and they kind of have this almost folksy almost bordering on i don't want to say ambient but it, it feels like because i said uh that it always feels like something's going on like it, they, there's no like silence uh which is a good thing it feels like a super full sound got some electro elements uh it feels kind of like a dell meets radiohead um nowhere near as experimental as radiohead can be but uh they definitely have a very radiohead vibe to them and the last of the three that i want to talk about is called making matters worse uh by le trouble or yeah le as in the in french trouble le trouble um and this one, I didn't like it at first, and then I listened to some of these tracks a second time, and I think that uh, this this one is kind of like hit and miss. If the track is good, it's a really good track. If the track is one of the weaker ones on the album, I could really do without them. Um, the first track, How Was I To Know, and the fourth track, Fatal Flaw, uh, were my favorites. I really liked. Uh, I really liked. How was I to know? Because it, it got my head bob and it got my toe tapping, uh, and I think it was a really solid track. Fatal flaw. I liked because it was. It was like really poppy. Like it felt like it was built like a pop song. Like they were. They kept trying to hook you and hook you, uh, but it didn't feel. Like, a, like, it didn't feel manufactured and fake. It just felt like it turned out that way, uh, which I think is a super cool sound. And these guys kind of remind me of... There's a Welsh band called the Los Campesinos, uh, which no one but me likes. Um, it kind of reminded me a lot of them, and they felt very, like, um, Vampire Weekend. Like, they have that same sort of, like, uh, really, like, s quick eclectic uh, rhythm guitar and a solid bass backing uh, and I really like them 
So those are some of the albums that I listened to, what I thought about them. I would definitely recommend those three albums. And uh, if you want to know more about uh, why I was listening to them, uh, in this case, it's for my new position as music assistant at Radio Humber. But if you want to know more about that, uh, you can check out my blog. I'm going to put a link in the description. Uh, I talk a little bit more about that job and a little bit about more, more, a little bit more about what it takes to get your music or music in general on Radio Humber. Kind of the qualifications every song has to go through. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a good one, guys.